Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Trauma Center Second Opinion. We left off right at the end of Chapter 2, actually, I guess we left off on this Z2 mission, but in terms of main story, we left off on that one for the greater good, and we're getting started with new beginnings. Let's start. Chapter 3, Catechus. New Beginnings. Today should be Derek's, Derek's first day with Catechus. Are you worried? I wouldn't say worried. We're down one doctor and one assistant. It won't be easy to operate with two of our best people gone. Derek has potential, but he's far from perfect. I wasn't about to send him to Catechus. Without an assistant he's comfortable with. Besides, Catechus is supposed to help us find replacement staff. I see. Still, I didn't expect Styles to be the selfless human humanitarian type. Do you think he'll be able to handle the pressure? I suppose we'll find out. He's gonna be surprised. I didn't get a chance to tell him about Sydney. Sydney? Apparently, Catechus is also an angel. Angels Bay? Catechus! An international organization seeking to eradicate disease. Catechus USA is the American branch. There are additional branches in Europe and Japan. The US branch specializes in researching anti-infection measures. It was originally established in the 1980s as a top secret offshoot of, offshoot of HHS, the Department of Health and Human Services. Once the organization went international, the central agency was renamed Catechus USA. They are authorized to act on their own, outside of government protocols. That almost sounds like it could be terrible, doesn't it? Derek Stiles, you may come in now. Hello. Huh? Welcome to Catechus USA, Derek. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sydney Castle, the director of US Operations. My brothers told me a lot about you. I'm glad you decided to accept our offer. Sydney Castle, age 35, director, chief director of Catechus. He's dedicated his life to the study of clinical medicine after his wife died of a tragic illness. Oh, yeah, I think Dr. Castle mentioned having a brother. I, I mean, uh, it was an honor to even be considered for this position. Angie Thompson, would you come in as well? Look at her, she's got a really cool, awesome pink uniform thing. Yes, sir. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. You're young, but you're hardworking, I hear, and sharp as a tack. I look forward to seeing what both of you can do here at Catechus. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. The Secretary of Health and Human Services should be here shortly. When I told him you were both coming by, he insisted... Oh, coming today, he insisted on stopping by. He's in charge around here, so I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of him. Right this way, Mr. Secretary. Congratulations, Derek. Angie, I'm Richard Anderson. Well... Perhaps it would be more appropriate to thank the both of you. Richard Anderson, current Secretary of Health and Human Services. After a long career in politics, he became the Executive Director of Catechus. Thank you for accepting such a dangerous job. I'm told that operating on guilt puts a surgeon at risk too. And we still have no idea who's responsible for spreading it. Hmm. But from what I hear about you two, you're up to the task. Scientific advantages, DNA treatments, changing social environments. We live in challenging times, and it's our responsibility to research and develop treatments that ensure the stability of world health. What all this means is, I'm pleased to have both of you on board. I hope you'll do your best and take your work seriously. Yes, sir. Catechus USA Conference Room. <laughs> A lot of announcing going on. And this is Dr. Clarks, a resident surgical, surgical expert. Oh, I wouldn't say expert. There's always room for improvement. Stephen Clarks, age 42, Catechus Chief Surgeon. He has a wife and two children. His kind demeanor has been a blessing and comfort to many patients. Nice to meet you. I'm Stephen Clarks. Nice to meet you, Dr. Clarks. This is our anesthesio anest <laughs> anesthesiologist, Dr. Myers. The name's Seibel. Seibel? Seibel? Seibel. Nice to meet you. 
Siebel Myers, a well-respected anesthesiologist specialist. Anesthesiology. She used to be a police officer, but left the force to practice medicine. She's intelligent and very spirited. She's kept her old nickname from the force, the Iron Vixen. You're from Hope Hospital, right? Isn't that Greg Castle's office? Uh, do you know him? We went to med school together. He's helped me in a lot of ways. I'm actually the only person here who knew Sydney was his younger brother. Anyway, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Of course, it's nice to meet you. Some of our staff aren't here today, so you'll have to meet them later. Think this will lighten our workload? Doubt it. Have you taken a look at the of incoming patients? <sighs> oh well. Have you guys been working with a lot of patients here? The public isn't aware of this yet, but we're on the verge of an outbreak. Congress recently voted in favor of giving us a budget increase, but that won't be good enough. At any rate, we won't need you to start treating patients until tomorrow. So, for today, let's get all that paperwork out of the way. Sounds good. Oh, I hate paperwork. <laughs> Sheesh, who knew filling out employment forms could be so tiring? It's pretty late. Yeah. Hey, why'd you come to Catechus anyway? Does it matter? Uh, well, I was just curious why you decided to join, too. Dr. Castle recommended me. That's not what I meant. Before, it seemed like you knew something about guilt, so... Does it have anything to do with your father's disappearance? Not really. Catechus has the newest technology and research material. I wanted to be here on the front line of modern medicine. It's the same as you wanting to become a master surgeon. I want to become a master assistant. That's really all there is to it. I guess that makes sense. We'll work hard together. The potassium chlorate's ready, so if we increase the sedative... Hunt, it, it sounds like someone's on the phone. Derek! Uh, sorry, gotta run. Yeah, I'll get back to you, dude. No way. Tyler? No way! No way! You seriously work here now? Tyler Chase, a surgeon at Catechus. He went to med school with Derek. So that's why he seems to notice him. Tyler's very optimistic and tries to keep everyone in a good mood. Uh, yeah, I started today. I must say, it's very much a pleasure to meet your gorgeous assistant. Uh, uh, my name's Angie Thompson. Nice to meet you. Man, I heard him say the new guy's name was Styles, but... This rocks! I didn't think you were adventurous enough to join Catechus. And, I mean, you weren't exactly an A student, man. But, everyone here's been hyping you as a highly skilled surgeon. Oh, what? No one told me anything about that. I don't want people expecting too much of me right away. Well, you have a pretty good track record so far, Dr. Styles. People can change a lot in three years, you know. Well, what about you? You were probably one of the top five in our class. I guess you can see for yourself, hmm? Good luck, man. We ought to throw you a party or something. See ya. I can't believe Tyler works here. Oh, sorry. Tyler's a friend of mine from med school. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. He was the professor's favorite, so I guess I assumed he'd still be taking classes. Potassium chloride, huh? I wonder if he's doing animal testing. Ooh, this next one's got an interesting title, does it not? Guilt? And it's an operation, I have a feeling we're going to be doing some more. Guilt operation. Got like really cool dancing music here. Kind of goes with like the super futuristic medical base or something. Several guilt victims are currently hospitalized here at Catechus. We obviously need to treat them ASAP, but we don't know how. So, at the moment, we're trying to slow the disease's progression. I had a lot of trouble operating on guilt as well. Today's patient is similar to your previous experience with guilt. I watched the video footage of your surgery at Hope, but... You moved so quickly, I couldn't tell what was going on. Now see, I think what happened, because the other guy was saying, if it wasn't for your healing touch or something like that, and this guy's talking about you moved so quickly. And I think they're referring to... 
story-wise, they expected me to use my he my healing touch, but I didn't find it nearly hard enough to use it. <laughs> so I didn't use it, but they keep talking about it as if I did. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you in action today. Let's see what you got there, buddy. I don't need any more pressure, thanks. Mr. or Dr. Miles will handle the anesthesia. No problem. Myers is a tough chick, Derek. If you screw this up, don't expect her to ever work with you again. Stop trying to scare the newbie, Chase. This is a difficult operation, and we don't have room for any mistakes. Just do your best, kid. Uh, you got it. Alright, Rise Jack. Positive Kyle reaction. Kiraki. Let's see. Kiriaki. Kiriaki bodies detected. Immediate removal is required to prevent further complications. I'll be briefing you on the procedures for this operation. Today's patient is a guilt victim who was brought here three days ago. Derek, you've actually operated on this exact strain already. I was called. It was called. Kiriaki, wasn't it? Correct. The skilled hides inside organs while attacking their tissue. Removing it, however, should be just like removing any parasite. We wanted a simple case to evaluate your abilities. There's only one objective in this procedure. Remove the Kiriaki. I'll leave the exact details of the operation to your discretion. Show us your talent, Dr. Styles. Yes, sir. Let's begin the operation. Okay, let's begin the operation. Case okay, so I have to repeat you. All right, so this should be the same as before, more or less. Um, just I guess less guidance. This is the same strain of guilt that Linda Reed at the Hope Hospital contracted. Let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, okay, there we go. A little bit of that, and a little bit of cut in action there. Yeah, so we got the same thing here. Doctor. The Kiriaki are causing these lacerations. Treat them first. Oh, that was a terrible one. Well done. Okay. Let's just pull that together. And suture. Oh, that was pretty bad as well. Okay, now wait for the lacerations. Located the guilt. Okay, so cut. Laser. Amazing. Wow, that was a really bad one. Okay. Okay, there's one there. Laser it. Okay. Whoa. Vitals are dropping actually a little faster than I'd like. Let's, uh, or his. I don't know if it was a guy or girl actually. I didn't pay attention. Let's boost those a bit. Wow. Okay. Ah, dang it. I missed it. Uh, nope. Ah. It was somewhere around here. Got it. Laser. They keep coming. The third one, how many are there? Doctor. Okay. This one is the large one. So what it seems like is it always starts with the small one. The small ones. And there'll be multiple ones of those. After you... Whoa. Okay, that was weird. After you... To be here. Oh. Okay. Laser. Laser. And, uh, it, I mean, it always seems to go the same way. Oh, got out of range. Okay. Laser. It's hard finding it with the ultrasound because it moves. Okay, we got it. Let's treat these last few wounds and close them up. Good work with your terrible stitches. You were testing for... Chirality? We were, Angie. That's very observant of you. Guilt creates cells with an unusual, unnatural chirality. Using the Chiron test, we can detect the specific wavelength they emit. So far, that's the only way to reliably distinguish guilt. Remind me, remind me to give you the Chiron test equipment later. Sorry I wasted all that time, Derek. Finish up by suturing. Let's give that just a little bit of gel there and a bandage excellent work I can see why my brother recommended you oh boy let me grab some water oh
Okay, how do we do? What's the damage? Max chain over 40, no mistakes, completed with 150 left. A master surgeon, oh my gosh! Unbelievable! He's still got a lot to learn, but that was incredible! It's probably my suturing, she doesn't like my suturing. Styles finished 30 minutes earlier than we estimated. Hopefully the patient will recover quickly as well. Haha, <laughs> looks like times have changed. Cool, everyone likes Styles. Excellent. Ooh, ooh, the darkness within. Ooh, more story. It's like less operations, more story. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. This game is a big story game. I mean, I, I'm not going to get mad because I do like the story. The darkness within. Woohoo! Hey, Tyler, you around? Uh, where could he be? I didn't think he had any patients today. Huh? Is this a new thesis? I guess he still finds time for academics, after all. Netherlands. Oop, treat? Euthanasia. Why would he keep a euthanasia thesis in his files? Oh, there's a letter. Thank you, doctor. Because of you, my husband finally found peace. What the... We'll bring that up at the next conference, then. Crap, he's coming back. Uh, where do I put these? Let's put these in this awkward location over here. Hey, what's happening, Derek? Did you need help with something? Uh, I was just coming in to uh, ask you uh, uh, about something. I was, uh, oh, uh, uh, medication for the guilt patients. Post-op medication? Mm, as, as far as I know, there hasn't been any. Huh. Oh, well, okay. If you don't know, then I'll just... Sorry to bother you. See you later, okay? Wait, Derek. I've been meaning to show you something. You would have found out about it sooner or later anyway. Oh, what? I, I swear I didn't. Follow me. Recovery ward, room 105, or 305. Hey, Tyler. How you doing, Amy? Not so good. Oh, that sucks. Sorry I made you get up. Derek, this is my sister, Amy. She's been hospitalized here for two years. You mean, she's infected with guilt? Yeah. Amy's condition is the reason I came here in the first place. Amy, this is Derek Stiles. He's an old friend of mine. He's going to be treating you, so you go easy on him, okay? Hee <laughs> hee, okay. Did you come to examine her again, Dr. Chase? Leslie Sears, age 26, one of the many nurses on staff at Catechus. She currently looks after several guilt patients, including Amy Chase. Nah, I just came to see how my little sis was holding up. Oh, I see. Amy hasn't been doing her homework lately. I was actually hoping you could talk her about talk to her about that. But it's so boring. Sis, if you slack off, then you'll end up dumb like your big brother. You want people to know how smart you are, don't you? Think about it, okay? Anyway, big bro's gotta run, but I'll visit you again tomorrow. You must be going through a lot, Tyler. Yeah, I guess it's payback for what I've been doing, huh? Huh? Look, dude, I know you saw my paper on that letter. I've been practicing euthanasia ever since I graduated. That's my deep, dark secret. I heard rumors, but I never thought the Death Doctor could be someone like you. Why would you do that? One of the professors I had before we met died of cancer. It was already too late when they found it. Professor Bonka told him that himself. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's supposed to be serious, but could you come up with a better name than Professor Bonka? All he had left to look forward to were a few weeks of suffering and painful treatments. Good people shouldn't have to go through pain like that before they die. So I gave him the gift of a painless death. But that's... Of course people would prefer to live. It's only natural. But if everything causes pain and there's no chance of recovery, then are you really living? No, you're just sticking around so other people don't feel bad. That isn't true. I know it's naive, but... I knew there'd be consequences when I started doing it. You probably think it's just suicide, or worse, murder. But 
Things are different now. I have to be there for Amy. If you're going to turn me in, at least wait until Amy's gone, okay? You aren't doing that to Amy. I won't let you. So maybe that's the deep dark secret. I mean, it not maybe. It is the deep dark secret. I'm sorry, that's what I meant to say. And I'm curious what Styles thinks about that. I mean, he knows that's wrong. It's morally wrong, and that's wrong being a doctor. That's wrong. So I'm curious what he's going to say about that. Murdering people and claiming you're helping them. Doctor, quickly! Amy's condition is getting worse. Her vitals are dropping, and she's losing consciousness. What? Everyone, prepare for surgery. Angie, bring in the patient. I'll meet you in the OR. Hurry. Yes, sir. Tyler, this is an emergency. Come on, hurry. <sighs> what are you doing? Let's go. You can't operate on her. What? I have to. Haven't you seen the, pe the pet results? Sorry. <laughs> With Mega Man Battle Network, I keep thinking it's... Uh, P.E.T. The guilt's already mi migrating. Her respiratory system's in trouble, and her digestive tract is next. What are we supposed to do? Are you just going to watch her die? Do you have any d idea how many things we've tried? Dr. Clark's couldn't help, and he's the best there is. All he could do is thin out some of the tumors. I just watch her get weaker day by day. Amy doesn't have a lot of time left. What are we supposed to do? I tell you, we're supposed to leave her alone so she doesn't have to suffer. Do you really think cutting her open again and again is going to do anything? So, what? You want us to watch guilt tear her apart? You don't get it! She doesn't need to go through all the suffering. Even if this operation helps, she may never open her eyes again. Should this be connected to some machine, waiting to die? If that's the case, then I'd rather send her off myself. You call yourself a doctor? I'm Amy's brother before I'm a doctor. You think I'm going to watch my sister suffer just because that's my job? I don't care if I lose my license. We're talking about my sister. What are you still doing here? Hurry up! Hmm. Dr. Clarks? We may not be able to operate. What? What? The guilt's in her lungs. It moved a lot faster than we expected. And I'm afraid she's not strong enough to survive the surgery. What if we separate the operation into two procedures? No good. If we don't extract the guilt entirely, we'll be right back to where we started. Now do you get it, Derek? This is how it always works. I always knew it would come down to something like this. I'll operate on her. She'll be okay if we can extract all of it, right? Leave her alone. With the healing touch, it might be possible. <sighs> Tyler! Amy! Tyler, please, do the operation. I know you could hear us. Aren't you scared? No, I'll be fine. You two worked so hard- Oh, you worked so hard to become a doctor. I'm gonna try hard, too. I'm glad that- you are a good doctor. I thought I was doing what was best for Amy. But I was just a coward. I didn't even consider what she wanted. Derek, can you handle this operation for me? I don't deserve to touch her, not with these hands. I joined Catechist so I could help people. What about you, Dr. Chase? Shouldn't we do everything we can if it might save a person's life? Yeah. Dr. Chase, please brief Styles on the Deftra strain of guilt. Deftra. Yeah, no problem. Hang in there, sis. We'll be right back. Tarot reaction positive. Deftra bodies detected. Complete removal from the stomach and lungs is required. The Deftra is basically a tumor, a really gnarly one. It replicates its DNA while actively moving through the body. A tumor that moves? That's impossible! 
Well, to be fair, moving is kind of a bad way to describe it. It uh, copies itself to other locations, so it just looks like it's moving. Basically, it keeps on replicating its DNA and creating new tumors. That's horrible. Good news though, we might just know its weak point. What is it? Defter comes in two flavors. We'll call them Type A and Type B. Type A and Type B is like to eat each other when they meet up. But they're both equally strong, so they kind of just stall there. And if they're not moving, they're just like any older tumor, right? So, after we drain the guilt's tissue, we can just excise it. Hopefully, I mean, this is all theoretical. One wrong move and they multiply, so there's no room for error. It's not like we can safely test the theory before trying it. But you have the healing touch. I've seen you use it, man. It's amazing. If anyone can save Amy now, I know it's you. I don't need to tell you the objective of this operation, do I? Remove the guilt from... the patient's stomach and lungs. That's all. Just save her, man. All that stuff I said before, just forget it. Please, Derek. I won't give up. I understand, Tyler. So I'm going to warn you guys ahead of time, this is a... I've gotten stuck on this operation before. It is a kind of difficult one, so... There isn't much time. We It might take me more than a single shot. Oh, and of course... Oh, and of course I'm not helping because I'm just ripping her to pieces. There we go. Alright, so first uh, we need to burn these off with a laser. Proceed as normal. And then we got tiny ones as well. Our data indicates the defter could appear at any time. When the defter combined to form a tumor, use the drain to remove them. That's the plan. Are you ready? And we there they are. The there, those are Deftra. And we kind of have to wait until they group together. Oh, and burn these off while we're waiting. Doctor. Okay, drain. Chiral reaction decreasing. So we have to do this more than once. So we're going to spend our spare time boosting our vitals and lasering off those, uh, those tumors. Decreasing. Continue the drainage. And drain. Third time's a charm. We have to quickly cut this out. Because it's going to drop her vitals really fast. Amazing. Uh, we'll move to the lungs next. First finish treating these wounds. Now before we move on to the lungs, I'm going to boost her vitals. Which of course isn't being helped by all these stupid tumors. Let's cut them down a bit and then I'll boost them some more. Trust me, I will want every bit of vitals I can get out of this girl right now. Alright, here we go. So, let's stitch this shut. Cool. And we've got to bandage this shut because now we have to move on to her lungs, but obviously we can't access it from the same location. Good news. You did it, Doctor? Amy's going to be okay. It's a miracle. Well, we're only halfway through. Calm down. We'll move to the lungs next. We're counting on you, Doctor Styles. Come on, Derek. Save my little sister. We can do this. Please perform a lombic combi. All right. What do we got here? This is going to get hard, hard, because if two of them of the same color meet, then they just cause damage in a tumor. But there's not much we can do about that other than just boost your vitals. Okay. Drain. Laser, laser, laser. Oh my gosh. We're actually doing decent. I'm going to say that much. I've never done this good before. Also, if two of them meet on a spot that the other one was before, it'll really mess up our patient. Okay, we're going to drain this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you can't draw the dang stars. Oh, I was so close. This is really bad. I'll take it over from here, Dr. Styles. Derek, I'm not blaming you for this. But I told you before. There are people who need doctors like me. And trying to give them hope only increases their suffering. So the idea is if you fail this, then he realizes, Oh wait, I am a needed doctor, and you are not as good as you say you are. So, in order to complete the story and make him believe that being a death doctor is bad, we have to save her. A few days later, Derek Styles mysteriously disappeared without saying a word to anyone. The burden of the patient's life turned out to be more than he could bear. 
After his final operation, most people would agree that Dr. Styles had no business treating patients in the first place. Now, I know it's for story reasons because he's supposed to be like this perfect doctor who never messes up, but it kind of bothers me that after one failed, you know, one failed operation, he's like, I can never be a doctor again. And every, and then like they say, like, everyone says he should never have been a doctor in the first place. And they're all like, he's a terrible doctor. He let that man die. And it's like, do you have any idea? This is like the worst, hardest, like thing he's ever fought in his entire life. And he messed up. Anyway, I'm going to cut to the second part of that operation. Um, so we don't have to watch the first part again because the first part was easy. The second part is hard. So I'll cut right back to that. So see you in a sec. All right. And we're back again. So we're just going to be do redoing this bit here. Oh, wow. That was the worst cut I'd ever made. Okay. Uh, but hopefully this isn't too difficult. Hopefully I can draw the star. That would be another thing that would greatly assist me is if I had the ability to draw simple shapes. Oh, if you see, so if another color, if, well, if anything comes and meets up with the two guys while they're swimming in a circle, then you'll ruin uh, the whole thing and they'll just jump out. And there's not much you can do about that. That is, I mean, it just happens, you know. You just keep boosting vitals and do what you can. And I'm going to let that one go because I need to boost vitals more. Dang it. Okay. I need to boost vitals with this time and get rid of a lot of these tumors because they're really draining the health a lot. Boosting the vitals. Boosting the vitals. Okay, I think I think we'll be okay now. Because we've severely boosted we've severely boosted the vitals and we only have one to deal with and one's not that bad and see that's that's an appropriate place to use the healing touch you know we don't need to use it on really dumb small things but that's a very very good use of the healing touch when you're just completely overwhelmed like I have trouble dealing with like sometimes when there's so many things going on on screen at once Okay, let's just cut that. Like, it's just, it can be confusing. Uh, but, you know, it's a good time to use it then. Kyle reaction is negative. The operation was successful. Good work, Doctor. Treat the other wounds. Close her up. Let's boost her a bit just so she doesn't die. It'd be terrible to lose her right here at the end. Alright. Excellent. Thanks, Derek. Thank you so much. You're a real doctor, dude. I respect that. See, we're gonna teach him the evil, his evil ways and how he doesn't need to do them because it's bad and evil and whatnot. Amy should have a smooth and painless recovery. Derek, I owe you, man. How can I ever repay you for all this? You will need to be a good doctor for the rest of your life. That's how you will repay me for this. And I didn't do great, but I'm surprised actually I got a specialist out of that. Derek, it's your decision, man. If you want to turn me in, do it. I'll resign if that's what it takes. I don't care. I'm just glad Amy's okay. Thanks, Derek. I want you to do me a favor. Huh? Re-edit that thesis you wrote and offer it to Catechus. You feeling okay, dude? Tyler, you've always been good at writing detailed papers. Despite how you used the research, your thesis was no exception. Eliminating pain and suffering, facing death. Doctors and patients can both benefit from your research. Find a way to use that information to save people's lives. That's all I ask. No problem. You got it, bro. Dot dot dot. Oh, there you are. Amy's going to be awake soon. Let's go check on her then. What do you think, big brother? Hey, don't call me that. Ah, And see, now we're teaching the people how evil it is to be evil and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm Mr. 250. This is Trauma Center Second Opinion. Come back next time and we'll see where the rest of the story takes us. Because that was a very difficult... Um, that was actually... 
I, I wouldn't consider that the most difficult guilt by far, but it is a it is a very difficult step up from what you've just been given. Because what you've just been given was the one that swims around and then cuts, and, and that one's not too hard. This one's very difficult, especially when they start throwing like two of them in the same room, and they do all that damage when they uh, when you have to excise them. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed it though. Come back next time, and we'll see where this takes us to harder, more, more stuffs and anyway it'll be it'll be interesting i promise you this game is very interesting i i really like it it's it's one of my favorite games and hope you guys enjoy it too so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye